that they want to see the borders, uh, the border issue resolved. I mean, you're getting migrants beating up policemen in the streets of New York. You're seeing an influx of migrants all over the country that frankly have people outraged. I guess you get what you voted for. Hello, and thanks for watching. Just a quick reminder, I do have a Patreon channel and have started some new perks for subscribers that includes daily unedited news clips and a special Discord role that will give you access to live streams and more just for $3 a month. You can find the link for that in the description and pinned comment. Shut Shut up! Now on to Al Sharpton, who was interviewing Democrat scumbag Chris Murphy about Joe Biden's border crisis when something very unexpected happens. Good, now we're having fun. What is being done to uh, get the public uh, to really uh, rise up in various states to say to their senators that they want to see the borders uh, the border issue resolved. I mean, you're getting migrants beating up policemen in the streets of New York. You're seeing an influx of migrants all over the country that frankly have people outraged. And at the end of the day, senators have to deal with their voters. And at the same time, it uh, in the bill, you give uh, uh, money to Gaza, to, to, to civilians in Gaza and Israel. But the border, I mean, we're looking every day at the invasion of migrants. Nani? But the border, I mean, we're looking every day at the invasion of migrants and they're playing a time game with politics on this. Couldn't that pressure put to bear in their home state? <laughs> Did I just hear that? Did Al Sharpton just call it an invasion? But the border, I mean, we're looking every day at the invasion of migrants. No way. Just a few days ago, they would have called him a white supremacist. Folks, that is significant. That is a seismic shift in the Overton window. What Greg Abbott and Ron DeSantis have started here cannot be understated. They force Democrats to deal with the results of their bad policies before they can encourage the illegal immigrant hordes and ignore federal law as sanctuary cities without their constituents having to deal with it at all because the blue border states were dealing with the brunt of it. The media is more than willing to protect Democrats from accountability on this, but their voters have clearly had enough. We're getting no support on this national crisis, and we're receiving no support. And let me tell you something, New Yorkers, I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. I have children who attend schools who have soccer games, y'all. You know, you all are asking me as if I'm not a parent in this city. And I'm doing all of that with a black wife raising three black children on the west side of the city of Chicago. I am going to the border as soon as possible. What? What the hell is he even saying? That it really sucks having a black wife and black kids? The fact of the matter is, both of these guys were proponents for illegal immigration in sanctuary cities. I'll remind you, this has always been the Democrat plan. To flood blue states and the country with illegal immigrants, who would hopefully be given citizenship and then vote for Democrats. The thing is, by their very existence in these states, even without being citizens, they become political tools for the Democrats. You might say they're replacing the voter base. Joe Biden said it himself, along with Mayorkas sitting there nodding in agreement and grinning like a gargoyle. Not only our Muslim communities, but African communities, Asian communities, Hispanic communities, and, and the wave still continues. It's not going to stop, nor should we want it to stop. An unrelenting stream of immigration, nonstop, nonstop. Folks like me who are Caucasian of European descent for the first time in 2017, we'll be in an absolute minority in the United States of America. Absolute minority. Fewer than 50% of the people in America from then and on will be white European stock. That's not a bad thing. That's a, that's a source of our strength. I'm going to have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. Thanks to Abbott and DeSantis, these criminal aliens are now flooding the states that volunteered themselves as sanctuaries. And instead of replacing the whites, they're apparently replacing the black people by straight up kicking them out and giving their benefits to the illegals. NPR reported from August of last year to December of this year, they will spend two hundred and fifty two million dollars 
on the migrants. I'm submitting to you in one generation, just one generation, the black vote will be null. They will have an additional 24,000 people on the voting roll. We are done with the Democrats. Why are you outraged? Because this place was, like you said, it's free. It was a place for our children. Our children, I, I have four children, and it's sad. You know, I have four boys, you know, and we really don't have nothing in the community that's free for us. Don't get me wrong, it's great that they want to help the immigrants, but what about the Americans that are already here? The Malnia Cass Recreational Complex is being used as an overnight temporary shelter, and people in Roxbury, like Sean Nelson, are expressing frustration with this plan. Now, our kids are going to be leave out while their kids are getting all these resources off our tax dollars. We are very disappointed right. in this decision that Mayor Lightfoot has made to place these migrants in our community without our permission. All these resources that have not come to us, now you want to overly compensate for people who never lived here before, and they really need to be taken care of first and foremost before anything else happens here. That's a shame. I'm sorry, but you get what you voted for. That goes for Republicans too, by the way, many of whom were initially going along with this disaster of a border agreement. Thankfully, it appears to be DOA now, saying it fails at doing every policy area needed to secure the border and actually incentivizes more crossings. Yeah, no sh among its many flaws, the bill expands work authorizations for illegal aliens while failing to include critical asylum reforms. Even worse, its language allows illegals to be released from physical custody, would effectively endorse the Biden's catch and release policy. The so-called shutdown authority in the bill is anything but, riddled with loopholes that grant far too much discretion authority to Secretary Mayorkas, who has proven he will exploit every measure possible in defiance of the law to keep the border open. America's sovereignty is at stake. Any consideration of this Senate bill in its current form is a waste of time. It is dead on arrival in the House. We encourage the U.S. Senate to reject it. All right, folks, what are you all thinking? Let me know in the comments or join a live discussion in our Discord server. Also, make sure to check out my Patreon community so you can get all the news and culture clips you'll need to stay informed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.